As with each year, IFA Berlin 2023 brought us many new things in a smart home world. One of the companies that announced a lot of new products, both as future products, but also products that are released and available now, was of course SwitchBot. And you may already know that SwitchBot is one of my favorite companies in terms of IoT or smart home. Unfortunately, no, I will not be doing a video on S10 or the new humidifier too, although I would love to do a video on that. Instead, today we will be looking at something much more simpler. Today we will be looking at the new SwitchBot Curtain 3, how it is different than the Curtain 2 that I have been using now for some time, a year or something like that, and can you get it inside Home Assistant? Spoiler, yes, of course, you can, and there are actually two ways, but I will only show you one way, my preferred way. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Here is a challenge for both me and you, you as a viewer. If you do subscribe to my channel and I do hit 50k subscribers by the next IFA, which will be had at Berlin in next September, well, I will actually go there, spend a couple of days, record, do live streams from there, do interviews, etc. So challenge for you, get me to 50k and challenge for me, go to IFA Berlin. But let's get back to the topic. I already mentioned I do have SwitchBot Curtain 2. I've installed it around a year ago and so far, I have been really satisfied on how it is working. Actually, my daughter, because this is in her room. We've mostly been using remote to control it. That way you can have on and off or open or close button that allows you to quickly open or close the curtain. But also I have it configured and working inside my home assistant because yes, this is a Bluetooth device. And by using Bluetooth proxies, and I do have a couple of Bluetooth proxies in my apartment, I'm able to control and see the state of this curtain inside Home Assistant. As I mentioned, it has been working really great for the last year or something like that. The version I'm using is Curtain 2 Rod, and the curtain bot moves along the rail and pushes and pulls the curtains. And yes, I also have one additional thing, and that is the solar panel. That means also that the first time I unbox the device, I charge it with the USB cable that is provided and after that it has been working more or less off of the solar panel. Actually I have never ever even in the winter seen the battery drop below the 88 or 89 percent, which is really awesome. But let's get back to curtain 3. What are the differences? Is it any better? And if you already have curtain 2, should you upgrade to curtain 3? Well, actually, the answer to that is not that simple. If, for example, you are annoyed by the sound or decibels coming from your curtain bot, and yes, you can hear the curtain 2 working, curtain 3 may be upgrade for you. It does have quiet or whisper mode. But if you run them in a whisper mode, they will also move slowly. If they move slowly and this is too slow, then you should run it at normal speeds. For me, actually, the noise level is not that big issue, but for you, this may be game changer. The second difference is that the device is now much smaller. Smaller, but not actually smaller. It is less fat, but a bit longer. The third and maybe the biggest change and something I was really skeptical at first is the solar panel. While you still have to buy separate solar panel, this one now has a longer stick or whatever this is called that you can actually use to attach the solar panel to the curtain 3. Why this is helpful? For example, if you install your curtain up on the top above your window, then there is no direct sunlight to the curtain bot itself. And by enabling you to lower the panel, but also tilt it, change the height or dimension of this rod, you can play with it so that it is always in the sunlight and be that it is not obstructed or hitting either wall or the windows. One additional thing that this bot has that the previous bot didn't have is strength. Yes, the previous Curtain 2 works for me great, but I have very thin and not that heavy blinds. In terms of the weight that this Curtain bot can move, I think that it is up to 16 kilograms. And 16 kilograms, well, that's a lot. What else is there besides that it can pull much higher weight, that it can operate in much quieter mode, that it has a new panel. 
actually this Curtain 3 bot is now Matter compatible. This opens up a whole new dimension, but I'm not that keen on Matter currently. SwitchBot Hub 2, which I'm using and I have set up in my home, I do have Matter enabled, but this is a beta support. Also in Home Assistant, one of the instances I'm using to record and test everything, I also have Matter enabled. But until both Home Assistant instance, SwitchBot instance get out of beta, we have support for more devices and some things change and improve, I will not be talking on my channel about the matter. There are already a lot of channels that are pushing it, while I myself think that it is still too early to push and talk about matter devices. I'm very keen about the standard, but let's wait a bit and have more robust and more working environment. While I myself have never used routines on SwitchBot for anything, yes, if you decide to go with nothing else but the SwitchBot app and use their ecosystems, yes, you can set up even to open or close blinds depending on the sunlight. My SwitchBot Curtain 3 has been paired with the Apple ecosystem via the Matter standard and I also paired it with the Amazon devices. Let's talk about installation. I already mentioned there are two versions. There is a CurtainBot 3 rod and the URL version. I got URL. The URL was pre-installed already and the installation process of the SwitchBot Curtain 3 was almost very quick. If my rail would be of the required dimensions, I think that I would have it installed, well, in just a couple of seconds. But in my case, since the rail was small, I had to replace the wheels. Replacing of the wheels on the curtain is very simple. You can either use the tool or you can use your fingers and pull out the older ones, whatever dimension that was, and install the newer ones. The tool does help and makes this process very quickly. In the box you will receive a box with two different sizes of the wheels. They are all smaller than the ones that have been pre-installed on the curtain board itself. After the wheels were changed, it just took a couple of seconds to insert, twist, insert the other side, twist and connect and voila, that's it. After the Curtain 3 was installed, it's time to add it to the SwitchBot app. This process is also very fast. You press and hold the button on the back side, the logo has to be inwards or towards you or towards the room and the button is located on the other side towards the window, you press it, hold it for a couple of seconds and it will start the pairing process with the phone and the SwitchBot app that is installed on the phone. After it is installed, it will pull the latest version of the firmware and then will ask you if this is a single installation or if it's a double curtain installation. Since this was double curtain installation, it asked me to add, install and add in the app the second curtain 3 bot, which I did. Once again, the firmware was updated and then came the calibration process. Calibration process is actually bots figuring out where the stop and where the start of opening and closing of the curtains begins or ends. Before that, I also installed two magnets. This was the second problem for me, because unfortunately, due to the size of my rails, which are very thin, I was unable to glue the magnets on top of the rails. I had to glue them up on the ceiling. And I hope that they will last there. And after calibration, this was it. I now had one pair of the curtains that I can control with the SwitchBot app and also via the Alexa, but also after I enabled Matter beta support on a SwitchBot Hub 2, I was able to add it to my HomeKit or iOS ecosystem from Apple. But let's talk about support inside Home Assistant for SwitchBot Curtain 3. Does it actually support it? Well, kinda. One way to add it is by enabling Matter support in Home Assistant. I do have Matter support enabled, but I will not be showing you that one. If you have SwitchBot Hub 2 installed, if you have enabled Matter beta support on it, if you have exposed in the Matter configuration the curtains themselves, and also if you have Home Assistant with enabled Matter beta support, plus if also you have Matter compatible Google device, Apple device or something similar, and you have enabled Matter support in Home Assistant, then you should be able to see the supported device inside Home Assistant. We all know that Matter should provide direct local connection, but so does also Bluetooth. If you have Bluetooth enabled in Home Assistant, either by using the stick or Bluetooth proxies, then you should also see 
switchboard visible inside Home Assistant. The only problem is that it will not be visible as a Curtain 3 device, instead it will be visible as a contact sensor. You get information if it's open or closed, you get information about the lux level, battery state, but you cannot control it. The reason for that is that the current library that is shipped with the 2023.0 or .1 release of Home Assistant is the older type of the Switchboard Bluetooth Python library and it still doesn't have a name for the new Curtain 3 installed. But that is actually very easy workaround. Very easy if you are using Home Assistant OS or Supervised that enables you to install add-ons. I will be posting a link to this thread on the community forums from Home Assistant and here, besides the people complaining that they see contact sensor, there is also a way to enable Bluetooth support. What you have to do is you have to install add-on called Custom Depth Deployment. After that add-on is installed, you click on the configuration panel on three dots, go to YAML and there just copy and paste the code that is available on the link, but you can see it also here on the screen and start or restart that add-on. After it has been restarted, what I had to do but is now fixed is I had to rename the Python library from 3.10 to 3.11 but you do not have to do that anymore because that has been updated in the last couple of days. You just restart your Home Assistant and if everything works you should now see Cover 3 supported directly in Home Assistant. And this is how I see them. I have Curtain 3 once and the second time because I have left and right installed. Don't worry, if you have paired your SwitchBot curtains inside SwitchBot app one of those devices will enable you to control both of them. Sometimes not both devices are unable to control each other, but you can just try and see if, for example, this one, when you click open or close, opens and closes both of them or not. For me, one device controls just itself, but when I click on the other device and open and close them, it opens and closes both curtains. The other option you have in Home Assistant, and people do tend to forget that, is to go to Settings, Integrations, Helpers, Create Helper, Group, Cover Group, and then add two members. For example, Luca Room, and I can add Cover once, twice. Now both of those devices have been added as a single cover, meaning controlling this group will control both of them. It will open or close them. And the best thing is that you can also hide the members. That means that the curtains individually will not be seen in Home Assistant if you don't need them and you will see only this group of covers. So yes, you have two ways of adding SwitchBot Curtain 3 to Home Assistant. One is by using Matter, which I myself do not intend to use. I do play myself a bit with that privately, but I'm not going to release videos on so much beta that I would even call it alpha. Not saying that it's not working in Home Assistant. But you have beta support in Google, beta in Amazon, beta in Apple, beta in Akara, beta in Home Assistant and beta in SwitchBot. So many betas are actually one big untested alpha. On the other hand, you can use Bluetooth proxy. Currently, it does require you to install this workaround, but I hope that version 2023.9.2 or if nothing else 2023.10 will have official fix, so you will not be needing add-on. I think that there is already pull to the library which enables the support and if accepted we should have all benefit from it. So what are my final thoughts about the Curtain 3? I do like them, although I'm not sure if you currently are using Curtain 2 bots that you should immediately jump and buy Curtain 3s. If you do not have any kind of bots for your curtains then Curtain 3 is a great deal to buy and to upgrade your manual control of the curtains. In terms of all the bells and whistles that Curtain 3 has, it really does have everything you need. If you like Matter, it does Matter support, it has light sensor, you can control it from their app, you can control it by various ecosystems, everything that needs to be, it does have. So in my opinion, this is a very nice Curtain bot. The link to where you can get SwitchBot Curtain 3 is down in the video description and so is also the link to the community forum where you can read on this fix or tweak to get the Bluetooth support inside Home Assistant 2023.9 or .91. 
And of course, before we end up the video, I would really like to take this opportunity and thank all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, liked, subscribed to my channel or commented on the videos. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below. And for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month, you can support this YouTube channel. Or you can go to my merchandise store and buy something there. I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.